Hello clever people and welcome back to my review of La La Land. So La La Land is a movie I've been anticipating for so long, it's one of the most anticipated of the year. It's Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, directed by uh, director of Whiplash and Grand Piano. I have not yet seen Grand Piano, but I want to because, yeah, he's an amazing director. And it's about two people who casually fall in love and music is incorporated, I mean kind of hard to explain. It It does, yeah. This film was absolutely phenomenal. It is my favorite of the year so far. I don't think any film is going to top it, because what else do I have that could be good enough to top this? Silence. Um, never know, Tony Erdman could be, like, phenomenal. Same thing with Hidden Figures, or Live By Night, or any of those movies, but I doubt it! I think this is going to be the best. Uh, just, okay. It loves to pay, it, it just pays homage to, like, the 60s and 50s types of musicals, and it's filmed in that way. It looks beautiful. The cinematography is some of the best I've ever seen. I'm not kidding. Uh, the music is the, is the my favorite soundtrack for a movie ever. The characters are so likable. Even though, at the beginning, some of the characters are just kind of a-holes. But, like, they get nicer. Like, it's all about perspective. You see the two perspectives. And it is all about perspective. And I absolutely loved this these characters. Uh, yeah, the music, I, I said the score behind it, I am going to buy the soundtrack and the score, because not only is the score behind it phenomenal, the songs are some of the best, like, ever. And just what I got from this film was just a passionate project. I knew everyone on set wanted to be in this movie, cared about it, and they're, they're, these performances carried such passion that it, it was just wonderful. I mean, it was incredibly emotional, too. You could definitely feel these characters. Um, would I recommend this movie to, uh, to everyone? No, because uh, I don't often cry in movies, and I cried in this pretty hard. Yeah. This is a ridiculously emotional movie. Um, but yeah. If you get sad on movies easily, I would not re uh, advise you to see this, but I just absolutely love this movie. And this is either tied with Nocturnal Animals, but I, I think a tire. It was phenomenal. I would, I urge anyone to just go see this movie. It's in 200 theaters right now, next weekend. Next Sunday is actually expanding, um, it's expanding nationwide. And, uh, yeah, you should definitely go see it. And, um, this is why I'll give La La Land a 10 out of 10. I loved this movie. It's better than Whiplash, in my opinion. That's, that's kind of hard. I mean, Whiplash is phenomenal. So, yeah, movie schedule. I'm not going to go see Silence in Hollywood. That's going to be too stressful. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be seeing Rogue One tomorrow, or Saturday, whatever I upload this. Uh, Collateral BD Sunday, so excited. Um, Passengers Monday, I, I've got another screening. Uh, like, Sing Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday. I'm not sure, though, but, yeah, maybe. So, uh... I'm Connor the Brute and it's been a cool.